let's see how lead bromide undergoes electrolysis we start with solid lead bromide so in the crucible we take solid lead bromide and we insert the graphite electrodes the ammeter shows whether current flows or not so in the first case we observe that it shows zero that means no current flows now we heat the solid lead bromide so as we heat the solid lead bromide we see that it start it starts melting now lead bromide is in the molten state and we observe that the ammeter shows a reading this means current is now flowing through the molten lead bromide why is this so because we had seen that electrolytes do not conduct electricity in the solid state whereas they conduct electricity in the aqueous or in the molten state so in the solid lead bromide the ammeter was showing zero reading but when we heated the lead bromide it changed into the molten state and we saw that the ammeter was showing a particular reading that means that current now flows through the molten lead bromide so let's try to find out what are the product products being formed as a result of the electrolysis of lead bromide so the dissociation of lead bromide in the molten state gives us lead ions and bromide ions so now in this case we are using graphite electrodes there are two ions present in molten lead bromide that is pb2 plus and br minus so let's see what is happening inside the molten lead bromide there are two ions that is the positive lead ions and the negative bromide ions now the positively charged ions they are attracted towards a negatively charged electrode and the negatively charged bromide ions are attracted towards a positively charged electrode so in the first case the positive lead ions they take electrons from the cathode and become neutral and in the second case the negative bromide ions they give electrons to the anode and they become neutral forming the product at the anode we'll now try to see what were the two products being formed at the cathode and the anode respectively so for that we have to look at the electrode reactions so at first we have the reaction at cathode we know the cations migrate towards the cathode in this case we have only one cation that is pb2 plus so pb2 plus migrates towards the cathode it takes two electrons and becomes neutral lead atom so at cathode the product being formed is the neutral lead metal at anode since there is only one negatively charged anion which is bromine that is br minus br minus migrate towards the anode in order to become neutral it loses one electron and becomes br one br atom is not stable it combines with another br atom to form the bromine gas bromine gas is a red colored gas which escapes at the anode so the product formed at cathode is the neutral lead metal and the product formed at anode is the bromine gas now let's look at the two product observe carefully we see that a gas is escaping so if we look at the anode we see bubble formation taking place the formation of bubbles shows that a gas is being formed at the anode we see a red colored gas from the reactions before we know that the gas being formed at the anode is bromine gas and in the end the product formed at cathode was neutral lead atom or the neutral lead metal which is left so the two products being formed as a result of electrolysis of lead bromide is lead metal at the cathode and bromine gas at the anode so now the gas which is released at the anode during the electrolysis of lead bromide is so we know there are two ions that is the positive lead ions and the negative bromine ions 
the negatively charged ions they migrate towards the anode so the bromine br minus migrate towards the anode it loses one electron and forms bromine atom one bromine atom is not stable it combines with another bromine atom to form bromine gas so the product or the gas formed at anode is bromine gas which can be seen from the reaction also so at cathode we are forming the lead metal and at anode the product being formed is the red color bromine gas so the electrolysis of molten lead bromide which dissociates to form lead and br2 as seen from the reaction so the electrolysis gives us two products that is lead metal at the cathode and the red colored bromine gas which is formed at the anode so these are the two products of the electrolysis of lead bromide